move on to our final story. Now, China will extend a total of $60 billion of financing to Africa, according to the Chinese President Xi Jinping, announced yesterday. The financing will be provided in the form of government assistance, as well as investment and, finan and financing by financial institutions and companies, too. Now, Xi said in a keynote speech at the opening ceremony of the 2018 Beijing Summit of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation. He further also stated that China will exempt certain African countries from outstanding debts incurred in the form of interest-free Chinese government loans due by the end of 2018. Now, the exemption, he said, will be granted to Africa's least developed countries, heavily indebted and poor countries, landlocked and small island developing countries that have diplomatic relations with China. Xi also said that China will implement eight major initiatives with African countries in the next three years and beyond. He said the initiatives are going to cover fields such as industrial promotion, infrastructure connectivity, trade facilitation, and green development. Hmm. Chukudi. <laughs> China, China. China, China. I hope this new relationship with China will last. Mm. Hey, hey. You see, you know we have discussed extensively the modern day or the 21st century scramble for Africa. Anybody that is conversant with the study of history will remember the scramble for Africa when people like Otto von Bismarck mm. and all the major influencers at the time, you know, met at a conference and with a very big knife, they partitioned Africa, you know, English speaking, yeah. Africa, French speaking, speaking Africa, Portuguese speaking. Portuguese speaking. Yeah. You know, they, they, just, they just shared us like Ilea uh, Ram, Erolea. Mm -hmm. Now, what Nigerians need to understand after a century is that in international diplomacy, there are no permanent enemy, uh, enemies, no there are no permanent, permanent friendships, friends. it's essentially permanent interest. Yeah. Do not forget that Auntie Meme visited Nigeria recently. In fact, she did not just come straight to Nigeria. She went to South Africa, came to Nigeria, and, and went to, to Kenya. Kenya. Three regional powers in Africa. Let us also not forget that Auntie Angie, that's Angela Merkel, also made the quick dash to Nigeria. Now, Uncle Zizi of China is telling all the Nigerian countries that come on to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, we will give you rest. Let's start with our trade relations with China to begin with already, because if we look at the negotiation that's gone on with the trade relations that we have with China, how would you say we're performing as it stands now? You see, in partnership, you come to the table with something valuable or else you will be exploited. Yeah. Nigeria has signed Africa as a continent. Remember last week I said mm. that the European Union mm. as a, a, a congregation of countries in Europe, in Western Europe to be precise, have done business with Africa as a continent to the tune of over 200 billion US dollars. But China as a country has done business with the entirety of Africa to the tune of over 180 billion US dollars. Mm. See, let me be sincere. We have signed Africa as a continent. The various countries in Africa have signed memorandums of understanding, trade agreements, trade pacts, this, that. But let's look at the continent. Let's look at the abundance in natural and human resources. Yeah. And let's, is it commensurate to the level of development? Hmm. See, these countries are essentially about their interests. And you do not blame them. Yeah. Because in business, you go for profit. But if you, are, if you come to the table with nothing, mm. they would exploit you. I saw, a, you know, a, a footage, this discussion between Uhuru Kenyatta of Kenya and also President Donald Trump. Mm. I was proud. I was very proud of the Kenyan president. He spoke about Kenya as a country, you know, paving the way in the continent of Africa. He spoke about Kenya as a country, standing toe-to-toe. -to -to with the United States of America. Why? Because they were going to harness their potential and use it to great effect. I've also watched President oh, Akufuado of Ghana yeah. speak. He speaks with so much passion to drive Ghana on the path of rapid development and, and growth. Yeah. But we have seen our own people. Is it a jamboree? Is it an excursion? We just go, we are smiling, we are taking pictures How for social people media. How many went on the trip to China? How many four ministers, governors, governors etc.? Four senators, nine ministers, the wife of the president. I'm not saying you should not go with these people. But what I am saying is, 
when somebody that is in a, that is at, uh, in in an advantageous position, you know, places something on the table, mm. you should be able to look at it and say, well, this is going to be of my benefit, okay. even if it's for you to wash your hand well so that you can eat well, and not after you eat, you now start dealing with diarrhea. So, what should a country like Nigeria? when negotiating with a power like China, be looking to bring to the table. If you were President Chukudi and you were negotiating with a country like China who wanted to help us to alleviate our debt in return for something that's also going to benefit us, what would you put on the table? One very important thing I would put on the table, my population. Mm -hmm. And how do I use my population to great effect? I would use my population to great effect when I, I empower my population. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. By 2050, Nigeria will be ranked top three. Yeah, 400 million people. In the world, we are on, we are less, if we go by what the mm -hmm. National Population Commission has specked our figure, we are less than 200 million. Oh. Yeah. We are already dealing with issues. Why? Because there's a struggle for resources and for space, as explained by the farmers' headers clash. When we are now twice the number, what will happen to this, our great country? Yeah. What we must do is human capital development. Mm -hmm. If you do not empower the man or woman so that they can become confident in themselves mm. and go out to make ends meet for themselves, you are placing yourself in a very difficult situation. Mm. You have a full grown man like me mm. that is able-bodied and strong and I am hungry and I see AK-47 mm. and I'm high on maybe, you know, one, one, one drug. Mm. And I know that with this AK-47, mm. I wield an influence. I will, I will cut rope, get into the street, and become a warlord. Mm. What we must do is empower the Nigerian people, which is not hard. Nigerians, I dare say that Nigerians are, if you count the most intelligent people in the world, the, it, there's a family, the Imafido family in the United Kingdom. That family is considered to be the most intelligent family in the world, the Imafido family. Why? Because as you are teaching, is, it, it, if, in fact, the, even the person that wrote the textbook yeah. need to come and learn from them yeah. because it is straight A's in examinations. Everything, they, any academic work mm. is excellence. So what do you reckon? What do you reckon we brought to the table? You see, I'm afraid we are just taking fine, fine pictures in China like we have been taking fine, fine pictures in the past and we are just speaking big, big grammar. See, you must have a plan. Yeah. Your plan would contain your action. So that when you begin to make mistakes or when you want to reevaluate, you go back and say, how do I do this? What do I do? Nigeria has had 19 years of uninterrupted democratic rule. People that were born on the 29th of May, 1999. Let's be fair to those people. The successive governments that were had in this country, what value have we added to them? Is it in education? Free education. Where? Is it in healthcare? That people still pay out of their pocket. Is it in security where my landlady will still send me a text message to pay for all of them in my own country? 12 o'clock, I'm bang, 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 in my own country. Yeah. So we need to look, we need to reevaluate and so right ask ourselves what board. our priority is. How do we hope to take advantage of this 60 billion US dollars? It's an investment window that China has opened to Africa, and the countries in Africa are less than 60. What does that tell you? That is, let's just say, if we go by equal equality, say every like country is entitled dollars. to a billion dollars in investment window. They are not giving you the money, oh. I'm worried, though, because, for example, when we got $350 million back from the Abacha loot, we put it into a program that basically said we're going to give 5,000 naira to the poorest families in Nigeria as some sort of a scheme that the World Bank believed was going to work based on previous times that they'd done that. Now, are we going to be looking at a situation again where we're basically being told how to spend our money, or are we going to have the opportunity to actually put that investment into the right place? My understanding of an investment window mm. is, okay, we're going to provide this for you, mm. but just tell us what you want. Tell us where you would need it, and they mirror it down to industrial development and capacity. Mm -hmm. What I think we should do is position ourselves so that we can also learn and take advantage of it. See, this world is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Yeah. At some point, Nigeria and China were ranked 
third world countries. Mm -hmm. But look at where China is today. America is seriously looking behind its back because China can overtake at any time. Look at Singapore. Singapore got their independence four years after ours. They Malaysia. got their independence as a poor country. We got ours oil rich. And Singapore today have the world's strongest passports. And we are still sitting here wondering how to You know get... why? Because yeah. in the case of China, people like Mao Zedong, in the case of when we look at the Asian Tigers, people like Lee Kuan Yew, mm. they looked at their country and said, this is where we hope to see ourselves mm. in 20 years. I cannot get into a relationship with a young lady mm. and say, in 20 years, this is where I hope this relationship will lead to. And I turn her into a punching bag. I don't take good care of her. You know, there is no love in the relationship. The only place we can end up is police case or in a, in a court trying to get a divorce. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying yeah. to say? So now, if we begin to say, these are the problems we have to contend with. Mm. You know, dilapidated infrastructure, derelict um, health and uh, academic institution. We hope that with this investment window that China has opened to us, we'll be able to build more schools and send our children to school to get qualitative education. We'll be able to empower our teachers so that they can even go to countries like Liberia, Sierra Leone, and begin to teach them there Absolutely. and make money for us too in this country. Absolutely. Only then will we begin to develop. But we live in a country where there's a popular saying, and the reward of a teacher is in heaven. We live in a country where a governor is owing salary and he comes out to say, No, it's not my I'm, job. To no, 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 no. You know, he says, No, I'm not owing 12 months, I'm only owing 10 months with confidence. You are owing salary, and you say, No, you are not owing 12 months, you're only owing 10 months. Or you come and say, eh, I, After all, I was not elected to only pay salary, or, or you are building statue up and down. And you say, Let us begin to look at all of these issues, address these issues, provide solutions to our problem. Angel yeah. Gabriel will not come from heaven with manual to say how to fix Nigeria in 20, in 20 years. If Nigerians decide that we want to suffer mm. and we, we like this suffering, au revoir. <laughs> Chukudi, I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much for this extensive insight. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.